I am Major Matthew Spears, and I am the commander for the United States Air Force Aviation Detachment in Poland. The update has been in Poland since November of 2012. Our primary role, our mission here in Poland, is to foster our defense ties and increase our interoperability as allies in NATO by conducting combined training exercises throughout the year. Pułkownik Tomaszaczek pełni obowiązki dowódcy grupy działań lotniczej w 32 bazie lotnictwa taktycznego. Teraz właśnie odbywają się briefingi, godzina 8 rano, to są dwie godziny przed startem, o godzinie 10 pierwsze samoloty wystartują. Oczywiście w Polsce loty na przechwycenie, loty na walki powietrzne. Następnie po lądowaniu omówienie lotów, następny briefing i następne loty. Także tak wygląda na nasz dzisiejszy dzień pracy i tak pracujemy codziennie. The members of the AVDED at this time are men. It's not restricted to men only and in the future we will have some women uh, that are part of our detachment, but there's a total of 10. My name is Abraham Morales and my rank is a technical sergeant in the United States Air Force. I am from a small town in California, it's called Wilmington. It is about 20 minutes away from Los Angeles. I joined the U.S. Air Force back in November of 1999. I have been in Poland a little over 10 months now. And that's how the magic happens. My particular duty is a logistics planner. I basically help people and the units come in with the airplanes, uh, their cargo, their equipment. I tell them where to stage it, what to expect, what kind of support they will have from us, all of their logistical needs. The busiest time for myself and the members of the ABDET is during our rotations. That's when we have the United States Air Force unit here training in Poland, and that's when you see the most activity on the airfield as well, because there's more than just one squadron operating from this base during those periods. We had two rotations in May and in April. The two rotations had the same goal, to strengthen the cooperation between our countries, to adapt to the same procedure. We had joint briefings, joint flights, and joint meetings, and that's what it all was. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, you can only read about something so much before you actually get there and experience it. I was definitely not used to the cold weather here, so that's definitely the bad thing. And the good thing, I would say probably the people, that everybody really tries to help us out. They know that we're far away from home, so they try to help us out to, they invite us to their houses or out to eat and stuff like that. So the people are really nice, probably the best aspect. Polish cuisine is very tasty, very um, good food. I, my personal are the pierogies. I really like pierogies and the kielbasa is really good also. The members of the ABDET make a priority to include the community uh, not only in our mission, uh, but in the work we do on a daily basis. So what we try to do are various community outreach events throughout the year. Thus far, in almost one year of being in Poland, we've conducted a number of these community outreach events. Uh, one of those happened to be about 15 trucks worth of furniture, over 67,000 uh, pounds, that was offloaded and put into a school in Łódź, which uh, greatly enhanced the learning environment for those students. Uczymy się od siebie yy, nawzajem, co poprawić, co możemy zrobić lepiej, jak byśmy działali w przypadku, kiedy by trzeba było działać yy, realnie. Na tym to wszystko polega i to jest główny benefit. The leadership from both this base and the 52nd Fighter Wing at Spengdalem uh, have a very good partnership and they've also become quite good friends through regular visits. It's that kind of relationship that enables our mission to accomplish with uh, great success. Mm -hmm.